For this task, you're only going to need a pencil and a pen. Start off with your vertical line and your two lines going at 30 degrees from that vertical line. Just giving the thickness to the breadboard, keeping all those lines nice and parallel. Making sure your lines are parallel going across on the back as well. Same again, parallel, and you've now got the main cube for the breadboard. In the centre you've got a little slot that runs right down the length of the breadboard. Put that in. Notice my lines aren't very hard, just going over really lightly. These are the little tags that allow you to join the two breadboards together if you've got a couple. Same again on the back, the tags that will help you to join the breadboards together. Remember, keep your pencil nice and sharp, give you a good finish to your piece of work. These are where the breadboard tracks are. I haven't drawn every single circle, just giving an impression of where the breadboard sits. That's my main breadboard sketched out. Now I'm going to do my positive and my negative cables going to the breadboard. doing the bottom of the LED and then the top of the LED. There are my two LED legs. <clears throat> Another little jumper wire. And then lastly I'm just going to add the resistor in as well. more jumper wire just to go to the uh, final rail. So I've been over with pencil and I've got a decent little sketch there now I'm going to just going to make it a bit darker with a fine line and I've gone for a 0.2 mil fine line pen quite a fine one don't go with a really thick one I should just cover over it now with a fine liner make it stand out a bit. Just bear in mind I haven't used a ruler on any of these sketches, all done by hand. You don't need to use a ruler. It's an in sketch. Keep practicing. central one is a really prominent line on the breadboard so I've gone over that quite hard and there again are my uh, cables going to the battery connector fill these lines in now really lightly, nothing too heavy. These are just to denote which way the cable tracks are running underneath the red board that you can't see. 
if I tried to fill in every single circle over here, here for a long time. Put in the connector wires, those are going to be a little harder. If you want to, once you've done your fine line filling in, you can always add a bit of colour to it. So, for example, if that was a yellow LED, maybe use a yellow coloured pencil just to fill it in, just to give some idea of the, uh, the circuit components that are in there. Details. Just adding a bit in here where the wire goes into the breadboard. And that's your lot. Job done.